it. Okay, imagine you're 18, you've got three A stars, and you decide you're not going to go to the BBC, you're going to go around the corner and join uh, Worcester Medical School. Yeah. Uh, the reality is this, and I've spoken to colleagues in the Doctors Association, medical students, is that they face between uh, 50 and 90,000 pounds of debt when they finish university, uh, then go through training. If you get to uh, consultant level, so say mid 30s, within four years, uh, not because of the uh, pensions issue that uh, doctors are facing, uh, you'll face a pensions tax of 10,000 pounds or more a year, basically. Mm. Um, which is why it leads on to what the vice chancellor is saying is that GPs and others are retiring early or cutting back their hours. Do you th- so sorry, this- do, you, do you think that's also why the government seemed to be quite keen on using agency stuff because they don't have to employ them, they don't have to have the pension burden and all that kind of thing? Well, it, it is very expensive and also it's it's much cheaper to take staff who've been trained overseas, for example, yeah, uh, who've been been to medical school overseas and, and, and done the training bit and then come and work here. I mean, the NHS would fall over tomorrow if it wasn't for overseas staff. It really Absolutely. would. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. But but they are but um, they are brought in. They're pro- they're procured, aren't they, through agencies, which is a very expensive way of doing it. And surely training people. That I mean, yes, you've got to pay up front, but in the long term, would it not work out cheaper or the same? Well, think about this like a bucket, okay, yeah. with holes in it, okay, uh, and we can pour as many students as we want at the top. If that bucket is leaking, and yes. believe me, it is leaking. Uh, you know, so what I would say to all the politicians this is one of the failures of, of both Conservatives and Labour, Mitch, I'm Liberal Democrat, is none of them answer the word retention. Because, yes, you need to be training more staff, but you also need to be retaining more staff as well. Very good point. Yeah, it's a very good point, isn't it, Dr David Nicholl? Thank you very much. Yeah, if they're all going. 